Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send your log files into Dynatrace using Fluent Bit, but without the one agent. Let's get started. Begin by downloading the Fluent Bit binary from the Fluent Bit website. Next, follow the configuration instructions provided by your observability system. In our case, we need to generate an API token. Give this token logs.ingest permissions. FluentBit requires a configuration file that you may want to commit to Git. To avoid storing sensitive data in Git, save your details as environment variables. The config file can read from environment variables. In our case, we need two pieces of information, the API token and the tenant URL. Next, populate the config file. The service section defines the global behavior of the FluentBit engine. The input section defines the sources from where FluentBit can collect data. In this case, the tail plugin is used to read any .log files in C backslash logs. The output section defines where FluentBit should send the log entries. In this case, the HTTP plugin is used. Notice the tenant URL and API token are not given here, but instead reference the environment variables set earlier. With FluentBit running, create one or more new log files and add some log entries. Save the edits. Within a few moments, FluentBit will have forwarded those log file entries to your observability system. You can now use the search and filtering capabilities of your system to find those log lines. Thanks for watching.